Okay, folks, this is Joseph. We're back for part two of using that Colgate cavity protection toothpaste. Now, back in September of 2000, uh, 2015, I believe, I was out in my carport cleaning up the place out there. And uh, all of a sudden, it, it felt like I hit a live wire. I'm in a jolt. And, and I'm running, I'm instinctively running back into the house. And I look behind me and there's wasp following me. Okay, what happened was, talk about blind luck, I got stung in all five fingers of my left hand all at the same time. What I didn't know was I have these hoses in a corral, hung up in a little corral thing, and inside one of those hoses was a, a, was a, a, a nest, okay, of wasp. Uh, and I got stung in all five fingers of my left hand all at the same time. And I'm telling you, it felt like I hit a live wire. I'm running in the house. I get in the house and I apply that Colgate toothpaste on all five fingers just like this. Here's, here he goes. And the pain didn't stop in about two minutes like I expected with the, with the, the, other, the other video I was telling you about when I had burned my hand and wrist. It took about five minutes or so maybe. Okay, but the pain stopped and never came back. I tell you what, getting stung by one wasp is one thing, but five wasps at the same time, it, it, it's a hurt, okay? It's a real hurt. Yeah, maybe if I'd have been allergic to bees and wasps, maybe I'd be dead. I don't know. But uh, most people would have went to the emergency room and they had got one heck of a bill and had co-payments of at least a few hundred bucks. But that Colgate toothpaste right there cost a few bucks, did the trick. Again, I'm telling you, that Colgate toothpaste should be in your medicine cabinet. It should be in every fire truck, every uh, ambulance, every emergency room. Okay, because it works for pain. Not, not only for pain for burns, and like I just told you, pain for wasp stings. I've used it for pains on scratches when I've got scratched by, by, a, by a cat. You know, hey, it works. If I cut myself, I use the Colgate toothpaste. Let me show you something real quick. Uh, just uh, about back in June of 2020, uh, just a couple months ago, today's, today's uh, I think today's 19 August 2020, I was uh, doing some work in the yard and I had these two center blocks and they, they collapsed on each other and my thumb got caught in between of them and I smashed the crap out of my thumb. It opened it up real good. I was bleeding like a stuck pig. But here's the end result of that. Of that. See that scar right there? Okay. That's after it healed up after about almost two months, okay? But anyway, I came in the house and I put Colgate toothpaste on that on, on the thumb, even while it was bleeding, and the pain went away. I'll tell you what, now Colgate toothpaste is good for all types of pain. And I'm sure it's good for, if you got a bad sunburn, I'm sure it's good for a bad sunburn. So anyway, I'm trying to tell you that Colgate toothpaste should be in your medicine cabinet, should be in your, first, if you're going outdoors, always have a, a survival kit. Satisfying, satisfying the eight elements of survival, which are fire, water, shelter, first aid, signal, food, weapons, and navigation. I don't care what anybody tells you. Always have a small one in your pocket because you can lose your backpack. Have a bigger one in your backpack. Have a bigger survival kit in your car and have even a bigger one in your house or your cabin, whatever, you know. Uh, one more time, fire, water, shelter, first aid, signal, food, weapons, and navigation. That Colgate toothpaste falls, in the, falls under first aid. Okay, it's a great product. It's cheap. I'm telling you what, it'll save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars of copays if you go to the hospital. But nine times out of ten, 90 times out of 100, when you're going outdoors, there ain't gonna be there ain't gonna be no doctor next to you unless you you know one and he's tagging along with you. And that, at the same time, he may not even have any of his medical equipment with him anyway. You know, uh, so. You should consider taking Colgate cavity protection toothpaste in a, in a small container protect it in your, in your backpack, okay, when you go outdoors, because you just never know what's going to happen. You just never know. Okay, that's it for this video. This is part two, and uh, check out part one if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.